My name is Carlton Mathis. I'm with the Hampton County Master Gardeners here at the food bank and we're building grow buckets or earth buckets. Here's a finished product, you know, with the overflow hole for the reservoir, the field tube, and in these grow buckets you can grow tomatoes, peppers, bush type okra or bush type green beans or cilantro or, or some herbs like that. But this is how you make them. It has a false bottom and this is filled with soil. You fill the water here until the water comes out of the grow, out of the drain hole. You can't overfill it, so that's when you know when to stop filling. And this is how it comes together. You have a five gallon bucket that you, that you can get from any big box store, or you get, make sure you get the lid with it. So here's all the materials. You got a five gallon bucket, a field tube, and this field tube has to be cut so that when you fill it, it won't, it won't seal off. So the water will go in and fill up the reservoir. And this field tube is held in by, by, by a twist tie, and it's also held in by the, uh, by the way you cut your false bottom. So you have, your, you have the bucket with the lid, and here's the cutting diagram. So we have a, a four inch pot and you cut it so that the pot fits through the top of the lid. And then this shows a cutout for the field tube that you put through here. And then you put this on here and take a saber saw, take any saber saw and cut around, cut out your, the hole for the wicking, uh, wicking cut, cut out a hole for the field tube, and then finally cut out the edge for the, to make your false bottom. So, and what, what keeps it a false bottom is, this is the four inch drain tiles. You can use uh, tin cans or you can use extra uh, planting cups, but those go in the bottom that hold up the, the bottom, the, the false bottom. Put the field tube in. And this is our wicking cup. Then you fill it with soil. Now don't fill the soil to the top of the rim. Leave like a half inch or an inch of space on this bucket when you fill it with soil. So it's filled with soil, and then you plant your tomatoes, peppers, bush okra, or, or bush green beans, and you're done. This bucket should last several seasons. I've, I've been growing uh, bell peppers in it for at least five years, so good luck.